3 out of 8. In Tonsberg, only 18 boats are allowed to enter the Grand Prix later on Sunday, which means only the top 3 out of the qualifying race will get a spot on the grid for the Grand Prix of Norway. Eight boats didn't make it into Q2 qualifying on Saturday, so they have to race now. And already at the first turn, victory pilot Ahmed Al-Fahim misjudged the turn and went right into Nick Bestefeld. First it looked like both could continue the race, but just one lap before the end of the race, Al-Fahim lost the front end of his already cracked right sponson as a result of his accident with Nick Bisterfeld, so the victory pilot had to retire. Back to the race, and now it was Bisterfeld who came way too close to the turn boys. The result, full course yellow and two dislodged boys. At the restart, Ola Patterson could stay in the lead with Manso Almansuri second and Konstantin Ustinov third. In the same order they crossed the finish line, so Patterson, Armansuri and Ustinov will get the final three spots on the grid for the Grand Prix of Norway. Race Facts It is the fifth time the Grand Prix of Norway is held in Tonsberg. This year 18 boats are qualified with Rashid al Kamsi again after Kaunas will start from pole position. The race course in Tonsberg with a total length of 1.51 km, 4 left and 2 right hand turns. The race distance will be 45 laps. The race. It's the second round of the 2019 Formula 2 World Championship and the boats are lined up on the starting pontoon right in the middle of the city of Tonsberg. Start lights are off and 18 boats on the way to the first turn, but problems for pole setter Al Kamsi as well as for Tobias Mintekas. Both engines didn't start and they already lost a lot of ground. My engine not start, I kicked the start uh, twice. I, I start the first time not to start. I was uh, shocked. And they started again, then the guys is uh, going. So it was Stefan Hagen again after Kaunas taking the lead into turn 1, with Al Kamsi making it back on second spot and Brent Dillard with a good start already on third spot. Dillard already chased by second Abu Dhabi pilot Rashid Al Tire, but Dillard stays third. Tobias Müntekas, who started second, dropped back to 8th position after his engine didn't fire up at the start. Müntekas moved up to 6th spot when he was about to catch Ferdinand Sandbergen. But then Müntekas tried too much and spun out of the turn. He didn't lose a position, but things got worse when he took a buoy the wrong way around later in the race and was disqualified. Same happened to Daniel Sagenmark, second in Kaunas and now laying on a good fourth position here in Tonsberg. But the disqualification meant zero points as well for Sagenmark. And they were not the only ones suffering from penalties. Fourth place Rashid Altair got a one lap penalty for not keeping the lane at the start. So the Abu Dhabi pilot lost his position and went back to fifth in the result. Stefan Hagen, meanwhile, still in the lead, got under pressure from Rashid Al Kamsi, who came closer and closer to the German. In lap 15, Al Kamsi was about to make a move on Hagen at the end of the back straight when Brent Dillard hit a wave and double barrel rolled at the happen turn. Race over for Dillard, but time to breathe for leader Stefan Hagen. The restart and Hagen could stay in front of Al Kamsi, who tried as hard as he could to close the gap again. So the Grand Prix in Tonsberg once again became a breathtaking race with Hagen and Al Kamsi battling for the race win. Al Kamsi never gave up and was pushing throughout the whole race. But this time Stefan Hagen kept everything together and could stay in front. After years of bad luck, Stefan Hagen saw the checkered flag first and wins his first ever Formula 2 Grand Prix here in Norway. It was so hard race for me. I think it's the hardest I've ever run at the moment. And uh, Rashid was really pain in my ass. So I needed to push 45 limits of... <laughs> the time uh, for the five laps all the time 
and uh, yeah, it was a really crazy race. Second came Rashid Al Kamzi, who is still in the lead of the World Championship. But after struggling with engine problems at the start twice now, the Abu Dhabi pilot is pretty concerned. Uh, we're gonna find uh, soon the problem with the engine. I hope they find it. Uh, but I see all uh, the other boats, uh, some of the boats the same, they didn't uh, start like Tobias and uh, other guys never start. Also, also Rashid uh, not start, but uh, we are fo focusing for uh, next uh, race. After the penalty for Rashid Al Tire, now Duarte Benevente came third and Ferdinand Sandbergen finished fourth and is now second in the overall championship standings. But for Hagen, this win was a big relief. And now his eyes are on the 2019 championship. We have shown many races that we can win. And now finally we have done it. So I think uh, it, it will be many more like this. The second winner in the second race in 2019. All is set for a spectacular 2019 championship fight. Next race is the Italian Grand Prix in Brindisi. So more Formula 2 action to come. Stay tuned and follow F2 on Facebook, YouTube and F2WorldChamp.com. Wow, 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 wow.